Good morning, Bear Buddies. This is the week of November 7th through November 13th. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge of allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible with liberty and justice for all. Let's check in with our special reporters to learn some tips for being a bearer buddy in coronavirus. Celebrations this week, Walt Disney Day, December 7th, National Cotton Candy Day, December December 7th, National Brownie Day, December 8th, Hanukkah, December 10th, International Mountain Day, December 11th, Gingerbread House Day, December 12th, Hot Cocoa Day, December 13th, National Ice Cream Day, December 13th. COVID tip of the week. Make sure you wear your mask and social distance from others. Have a great day. Buddies are brave. This week we are focusing on being bold. What does it mean to be bold? A few things are raising your hand and being active in class. And here's Dr. Sabatini with the principal's update. Good morning, Vera Buddies. Happy Monday. Another great week ahead that we're excited about for learning at Vera School. Um, this week, I want to talk a little bit about visiting classes and about attendance. So um, last week, I had the great opportunity to visit two of our virtual classes, Ms. Vernis's class and Ms. Hawking's class, and it was so wonderful seeing the students participate in morning meeting and greeting each other. They did a great job, so super excited about those classes. And this week, I have a lot of classes I'm going to be visiting in person and virtually, so I'm excited to see all the learning that's happening. I'll be visiting pre-K, Miss Arnold's class, all the special classes this week, and Miss Longo's virtual class, Mr. Coleman and Miss McCullum. So students, I look forward to seeing you in class learning, and um, I know that everyone's doing a great job with that, so excited about that. Um, I also wanted to talk about attendance, and I sent an email to your parents last week about attendance. We really need to make sure that students are at school every day and participating unless they are sick. And, um, you know, we started school a little bit later. We had some days off as we transitioned from virtual to in-person. So we really need to make sure that we're making the most of every day at school that we possibly can to learn everything that we need to learn. So if you are taking school virtually right now, big reminder that you need to log in on time since you're participating in your morning meeting class and you need to stay logged in for all of your classes all day. It's really, really important that you're getting reading and math and writing and science and social studies and not missing any of those classes. So it's really important and you have to be responsible. You have to be brave and making sure that you're staying engaged the whole day. Um, and so we really want you to do that. And for students who are in person, we need you here on time. School starts at 740. We don't want you to be late so that you're not, we don't want you to miss morning meeting and make sure that you are here every day unless you are sick. If you're sick, we want you to stay home and get better so we can keep our school um, healthy and safe. But attendance is really, really important. And I just wanna highlight a few classes from last week uh, Ms. Olin's fifth graders, I think, had perfect attendance every day last week. So shout out to Ms. Olin's class, doing a great job. We had Ms. Bedgood subbing right now, and Mr. Weaver helping in that class. So thanks to Ms. Bedgood and Mr. Weaver for making sure that kids are getting here every day and being safe and healthy. A few of our other classes that had really great attendance last week were Ms. Boyle's class, Ms. Stubbs' class, and Ms. Grant and Hawking's class. So great job. Also, Ms. McCullum's virtual fourth graders did a great job showing up for school. And then I just want to do two shout outs for classes that had perfect attendance one day last week that are new on our list for perfect attendance, Ms. Wyatt's first graders and Ms. Bruner's pre-K students. So great job for that. And we would love to see even more days of perfect attendance um, in those younger grade classes. So work hard, boys and girls, get here on time, be in school all day um, so that you can learn everything that you need to do for the next few days um, that we have together in December. All right, let's check in on birthdays. 
This week we celebrate um, these buddy, Bear Buddies birthdays, Harris Earl, Kushbu Dahal, Martha Matthews, William Marsh, Kentaja Carruth, Sadie Smith, McRae Broderick, Janaya Jerea Carter, Milani Bonds, and Daryl Nottingham. Happy birthday, buddies. Several shout outs this week. Ms. Brink and Ms. Samantha want to send a huge shout out to Chess Steele for being a brave bear buddy. Chess is bold by ask, raising his hand to ask and answer questions in second grade. Keep it up. Ms. Samantha and Ms. Brink also have a shout out for the whole class. These second graders play so nicely during recess and play games that include everyone in our class. It makes the teacher so proud and happy to see students valuing each other by including all. Amazing job. Way to go second grade. Here's some student shout outs. Um, Charlie Grace Hogan would like to give a shout out to Stella and Misha for playing with me outside. Miss Douglas wants to give a shout out to her fabulous second grade class for working so hard on procedures and new learning. Miss Boyle wants to give a shout out to her amazing second grade Barra buddies for working hard on procedures and new learning. I am proud of you. Miss Kaplan in kindergarten wants to give a shout out to her amazing kindergarten class. We've all been working so hard to learn new routines and everyone is doing so well. Miss Bowling wants to shout out for her first graders. She says, you have all worked so hard the last three weeks of school back in person to be brave. You have kept working and smiling even when it has been hard. Keep it up. Miss Adama and Miss Garrett are really proud of crew 122 in fourth grade. There have been so many times this past week that 100% of students were engaged in their learning and work from practicing multiplication strategies in math to making cup phones in science and editing their opinion pieces. Crew 122 has really been focused and engaged. And those are such great examples of Barra Buddies being brave. So great job students, keep it up. We hope that you have a great week at Barra School. What's up? James here, and I've got a riddle. What is a house with no windows, no doors, and only one room? Did you say an apple? That's correct. Before we leave, let's say our Barrow Honor Code together. As a Barrow buddy, I promise to be fair, honest, and trustworthy, even when no one is looking, because that is the right thing to do. My good choices will help, will help make Barrow excellent. We will now observe a moment of silence before we uh, begin to focus uh, all our attention on thinking, learning, and working at Barrow School. 